Over in North Carolina, there was a missing girl by the name of uh, Brittany Simone Smith. Uh, no relations, you know what I'm saying? My last name is Smith. My slave master last name is Smith. No relations, though. But uh, this is a black young woman, you know what I'm saying? Um, she went missing, you know what I'm saying, February 5th. Um, she was last seen February 4th. She went missing February 5th. And um, she was found murdered. And she was found with a something around her neck like she was strangled to death. And it said they found her in a suitcase. She was packed in a suitcase. She went missing. And the police um, finally arrest two individuals uh, by the name of Thomas Clayton Johnson and Emily Grace, you know what I'm saying? That's these two people on the screen that you see here today. You know what I'm saying? And they said these two people, now listen, now listen, listen here. The media is spitting, this is black shaming people. Just remember, this is black shaming. You're going to always see this around this month. This month is February. Have everything to do with a black death or black shaming. So, so the media um, the police said they're not releasing any information or they're not giving any information as to, you know what I'm saying, the cause of death. But I read the report and the police said that uh, when they found her, she had something around her neck, like it tightened, like she was strangled to death. That's what it say. Now, the media spun it. To make you believe that these two people lynched this girl. And then other stipulations says that somebody, they hung this girl. You know what I'm saying? These two theories is out there in the media that she was lynched and that she was hung. And another theory that these are uh, some support, Trump supporters... Who, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Trump supporters, Trump hate niggas, and all this other stuff. So, they trying to spin this out to be a racist, you know what I'm saying, act. But I tell you people something here. To all you black people in the world, to all you, a matter of fact, not on the black people in the world, to all you black people who follow me, don't feed into it. Because the black people, you're going to have a lot of black, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, YouTubers talking about this, talking about, oh, the white people, the white people. This is just to stir up the black, the ignorant black people to go against white people. That's all this narrative is. You're going to hear some Sarnettas, you're going to hear some Umar Johnson, you're going to hear a lot of black conscience teachers getting on a social media soapbox talking about this, encouraging their fo black followers to go against white people or talk about a racist thing. But I tell you this, people. Black people cannot speak on this black woman being so-called strangled by this white couple until black people stop black Negroes from killing black Negroes in their own communities. You understand, people? Do you hear what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, every day I wake up, I got monitors upon monitors on my wall. I got North Carolina news, I got Atlanta, Georgia news, I got Louisiana news, California news, New York news. I got every news program on my monitors, you know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at every news program in the country, and every time, every one that I look at, I see Negroes killing Negroes. 
It's never failed. Every morning I wake up, all I see is a Negro, you know what I'm saying, a drive-by. You know what I'm saying? Gang retaliation. That's all I am seeing. You understand, people? So before we can, you know what I'm saying, stand up and be like, oh, Brittany Johnson was racially strangled by this white couple. Before we can do that, we got to look at the people in your neighborhoods, the gangbangers in your neighborhoods that is murdering at an alarming rate. You know what I'm saying? The thug Negroes in your neighborhood that is murdering people at an alarming rate. They toting around pistols. And, you know what I'm saying? They don't have a pistol license. And they think they cool with it. And you know what I'm saying? And they're just shooting everybody all willy-nilly like they got a damn license to kill. So before we even go off the deep end and talk about this situation. Now, I'm, it's a sad thing what happened to Sister Brittany Simone Smith. It's a sad thing that happened. But until we hear it from these two individuals' mouth, you know what I'm saying? Thomas, you know what I'm saying? Clayton Johnson's mouth or Emily's Grace mouth. Until you hear it from their mouth personally, what happened to this black woman, then we cannot go off the deep end and say that it was racially motivated, say that she was lynched, say that, you know what I'm saying, oh, it was a Trump supporter, or say that she was hung. We cannot say that until we hear it from uh, uh, Thomas um, Clayton Johnson's mouth or Emily Grace's mouth. Until we hear it from their mouth personally, we cannot say nothing. So stop it, you ignorant black people. Stop listening to these so-called black conscience truthers, which is roaring you up to get your butts killed and racially locked up. Because let me tell you something, people. See, you're going to only get the truth from me, Pastor Michael Smith. You're only going to get the truth here at Illuminati Radio. You're only going to get the truth from me. I speak the whole truth to nothing but the truth, people. You know what I'm saying? Now, she was a beautiful girl. I look, I, seen her picture, I seen her pictures and everything. She was a beautiful girl. You know what I'm saying? Brittany Simone Smith. She was a beautiful girl. I seen the pictures. You know what I'm saying? Actually, she was a pregnant. She was pregnant, and she had two other babies. This as a pregnant mother of two. So she got two babies, and she was had a baby in her stomach. So, so she would have three children. Where's the father? Huh? You know what I'm saying? Instead of us, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Trying to make something out to be a racist thing. Where's the father of not only her two children, but the father of the baby that's in the womb? Where's the father? Could the father be, you know what I'm saying, uh, Thomas Clayton Johnson? Could that be the father of this baby? And Thomas Clayton Johnson and his girlfriend, Emily Grace, you know what I'm saying, seeing that she was pregnant and said, you know what, we're going to kill this baby because, you know what I'm saying, you had no business cheating on me. You cheat on me with this black woman. I'm a, let's kill the baby and kill her. Maybe it's that. Maybe, you know what I'm saying, these two individuals was, you know what I'm saying, they, it was a big, sick lover's t a quarrel. You know what I'm saying? You never know until you hear it from their mouth. So we got to stop, you know what I'm saying, listening to social media when social media is trying to steer you in the wrong direction because the people on social media is out to steer you in the wrong direction. Anyway, this is news, people. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this juicy news. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Also, don't forget, if you want to join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, which is PSTR, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.